This space was really special for me to work on because this is actually in my parents' home. This guest bedroom is space that will be used for all of my parents' grandchildren. And we really needed a great functioning space where all of the kids could come, have sleepovers, and stay at grandma and grandpa's house. So when I designed the space, I incorporated two twin beds in here purposely so that there is some floor space. If there's more than two sleeping over, bring their sleeping bags and uh, it's a slumber party. I knew that I wanted color in this room, but at the same time, because it would also be a room that would be used for guests of my parents, I didn't want it to scream kids. So I started with a neutral color on the walls. It's a pale, buttery yellow. And then I brought in lots of color and texture through the use of drapery, pillows, throws, and this great rug that's on the floor. So initially, the oversized sizal rug blended in with the flooring in the space. So what I did is I layered in a colorful, more textured rug underneath, and it really makes it pop. The window here in the bedroom, although it is a basement window and is much higher than a standard window, I still treated the drapery option the same. So I hung the rod as high as it could go, let the drapery panels go right to the floor, and treated the window as if it was up on a main floor. One of my favorite things when designing a bedroom is picking out the bedding for the space. The Euro Sham was my jumping off point in the space. It had some great color in it, and then I wanted to make sure that I incorporated some different patterns into the bedding, so I brought in some stripes, some great smaller printed sheets, and they really work well with the Sham. I don't think a bed can have too many pillows, and especially in a space like this, it gives them lots of options for some great pillow fights. <laughs> Down here there is a bathroom for the kids to use. My design approach for the space was very similar to the bedroom. It's a clean white shell with a hit of color that works well with this bedroom. To create a space that's warm, I chose a distressed wood vanity that really brings in some warmth to the space. It's in a gray tone that really ties everything together. So because this bathroom is in the basement, I really wanted to give the room some height. So I hung curtain panels on either side of the bathtub from ceiling to floor to give some warmth to the space and add some pattern. So eight months ago, I had my own baby girl um, and she is the eighth grandchild for my parents. And there's actually two more on the way who will be able to enjoy this space. So it's a busy family. 